Hi everyone, hi, this is Juliet here and here I am down in the Healing Gardens and I haven't been down, well actually I have been down here quite a lot recently but um, I haven't done a video from down here for ages, not since uh, the end of last year I don't think. So I thought that I would come down and do a little live video because it's really exciting in the gardens at the moment with things that's going on. Uh, we're doing lots of preparation lots of preparation for spring and I want to invite you I want to invite you to come and join the healing gardens I'd like to invite you to be a member of the healing gardens so do reach out and say Juliet how do I join the healing gardens because it's an amazing no brainer um, cooperative idea it's like I'm creating an eco community here an, an eco eco economy so that everybody can participate in the gardens at uh, very, very little cost. It's only £2.50 a month. And then each time you come and, and you help out, then you can take food away. And then you've got all that support with community, meeting new friends, supporting your mental health, supporting your physical health, becoming part of um, yeah, an economic, e economic unit, if you like, that we can all participate in some way and create products out of out of what we're building here like um, running gardening classes for instance or relaxation classes or garden bathing classes for mental health or um, making products from the plants and the herbs and making teas and tinctures whatever your skills there's a way of interacting with the healing gardens and it's just you know it's just an amazing amazing concept and we've been going now for, this is the 11th year, so over 11 years now. And it's one of the most long-standing uh, projects in Glastonbury, certainly the longest-standing gardening project in Glastonbury, I believe. I might be wrong, so if I'm offending anyone, let me know. <laughs> no intentions, no bad intentions meant with that. So I'm just going to walk you through the Healing Gardens and show you where we're at looks a little bit untidy because you know we're early spring and that's how it is in early spring but we have lots of things growing and the important thing I wanted to point out is the number of wild plants wild wild plants are um, natural medicines amazing natural medicines and the fact that we have unadulterated wild plants coming up is amazing they're so powerful for our health and um, we haven't had any chemicals on this land ever so it's always been organic so I just want to show you that and uh, I'm just going to switch the camera if I can and we we'll have a little walk around so we do this no dig kind of approach and we do this let everything grow kind of approach so I know that some people would say Juliet's messy garden but I'm okay with that it's like let's just nurture what's here and give a space for everybody that's here everything every creature including the wild deer that um, I can see their footprints all over the place as I walk around so just going to switch the camera if I can switch it yay so there we go um, and straight ahead I'm standing on earth circle straight ahead as I walk down we can see the tour. This is what's lovely. We're actually on the ley line here. And this is Glastonbury Tor. We're in a direct alignment with it. If you look through the trees, can you see the tour? So that's the tour there. And um, so there you can see it. And of course, it's going to be a little bit ob obscure when the leaves come out on the trees. Um, okay, this is new technology. I keep getting things flashing up all over the place on my phone, blocking things. So anyway, let me show you. We have got fabulous Jerick Jones built these compost bins with four compartments in. Not four, eight compartments, so we've got massive compost, composting capacity, so that's straight ahead, the bright new clean wood that you can see. And then we've got our bottles stored, and then over here, which looks a big mess at the moment, is where the polytunnel is going to be. 
So we're clearing the area. It was our old compost bins there, so we're busily clearing the area, clearing it all, making it flat and level to put the new bins in. And really exciting that the first parcel for the new polytunnel arrived today. So, uh, Jerick, please come round and start because you're you promised to help me build it. So any volunteers would be great. So I'm showing you now the untidiest part of the gardens as we've just cleared all the stuff out of the way here to be able to put the uh, the new polytunnel. So we're, all that black plastic was what was laid down around the old compost bins previously. And this is some of the old compost here. So we're digging all this old compost up to do our no dig potatoes with. And this is our biggest pile of rubbish that's going to be taken away next week. And over here we have a pile of wood and things that's going to be burnt very soon in a wonderful bonfire. So that's all the bits of wood that we've uh, gathered up that were part of the old bins. And there's a big pile of blackthorn which we've been taking out as we've been clearing back the hedges back there. So it's a mammoth work, a mammoth amount of work. So let me show you now the lovely things in the garden. So we have some beautiful mushroom compost um, from Woodland Horticultural. So a wonderful friend, wonderful person is delivering this. He's built a tipper truck so we can come down and tip it straight off. And that's part of our no dig method. So we put cardboard onto the weedy ground and then we put the seed free mushroom compost on top. So this is the second year we've done it on this bed. And uh, see the lovely daffodils. And here's another pile of compost. So it's really exciting that we can have this compost delivered direct to the beds like this it makes it much easier so it's really not hard work down here and these are the artichokes that we need to mulch around now now this bed was completely high with nettles two years ago and this mulching technique has vanquished the nettles so they all look a bit droopy because it's been a bit of a bit cold still and Here's a raspberry patch, we're in the middle of composting and mulching, so that needs some more compost on. And what else do we have? Under the bottles are still some lettuces and things that have overwintered here. See when we lift the bottles, we have the lettuces, so we pick off leaves at a time. So they've kept us going all winter. And there's always something for people to take away when they come and garden. This is the last of our kale here. It's just beginning to go up into flower. So that's under the netting. So we've had a fabulous amount of food all winter. And over here is the celery that died back. The celery leaves and it's all coming up again. So that's nice for soups and salads. I did dehydrate a huge amount, so I've got bags and bags of it that you can put handfuls in soups. And here we have, using the mulching technique now, broad beans that have overwintered, green onions, these are going to be proper summer onions that are coming up. And over here is another bed lots of broad beans and we're mulching around the edges we will put more compost on this card so you won't see it lots of broad beans and way more onions so you see we've been very busy already this whole bed here is sown with onions and garlic and coming down here this is in progress. This is the bed where we planted asparagus last year and now we've put in two more rows of asparagus so it needs to be mulched on top so completely all the grass and, and weeds will vanish and we've put in a row of peas. 
so yes it may be a little unconventional uh, unconventional I don't know if that's the word I think it is uh, but that's our approach and it works really well these, these are gooseberry bushes coming into leaf and red currants and more gooseberry bushes black currant bushes and we've got lots of rhubarb we've got rhubarb coming up everywhere so if you're a rhubarb fan here's some of the rhubarb we've got loads of plants and this is the wild leek plants that I've shown you lots of times before that create the little bulbs of um, little bulbs on the top of the top of the stems that drop down into the soil and grow new plants so I'll just show you these where are they those are the little bulbs so they're now growing can you see if you know what this plant is called I'd be really grateful and uh, it's very exciting so what wild plants do we have here now that's really good really really good so we have cleavers lots of cleavers coming everywhere so they're good for clearing the lymphatic system. We have a wild, uh, this one, cow's parsley. Um, the name's gone out of my head. But anyway, you have to be very careful not to eat that kind of stuff until you really know what it is because it's a little bit like hemlock. And this is where the deer have been munching the chard, you see. But we've got chard coming up all over the garden. And this is the motherwort plant that I dehydrated loads of that for a tea. It's for heart conditions and things. And what other wild things? We have got lots of things. Oh yes, this giant garlic that I planted last year over here and it didn't appear last year but now it has. I mean they're absolutely monstrous bulbs. And then we're, we've got lots of little parsnips. See this is a parsnip seedling. So parsnips are actually difficult to grow to get them to germinate. Well, ours are just wild in the gardens and they pop up all over the place. We've had so many parsnips just growing. I was trying to tackle some parsnips and dig them up earlier and they were so big that I had to give up because I couldn't, I couldn't dig them. I'll just show you. So I have to come back later and finish the digging. So, yeah, they're over on the other bed. I'll uh, just show you this. We've got lots of, lots of chives. So a lot of these are self-seeded. And then there's this amazing plant, which has got a really, really beautiful smell, which is, um, it's for good for chests and coughs, which is called ground ivy, so it's very very good for soothing the chest. And we have poppies coming everywhere. This is another kind of wild um, scallion, lots and lots of onions here, and these are the undiggable lap parsnips. So that's one hole there one came out of and here's another as yet undug up parsnip that I haven't been able to conquer so if anybody's good at digging up parsnips come on over and yeah what else do we have you can see there's so many things and poppies Pop is everywhere and I'll show you a video later in the summer where you can see all the huge amount of poppies growing. And oh yeah, okay. So this one this one is lovage. 
This is going to grow into a really, really tall plant that's good for soups and stews and things. And then we have lots of fennel coming everywhere. That's the fennel. More artichokes. So, there you see, it's, um, it's a very free flow. Anything about me is free flow and uh, letting things do what they need to do. Whether it's trauma healing, gardening, it's about what's the nature of this thing? What's the nature of this person? What do they need right now? What's the support that they need? And how can we um, give them the space to be who they are? because we're all all unique, everything is unique. Every creature is unique, every two plants. Um, one is different from the other, so. Um, that's ground ivy. So, if you'd like to join the gardens, do let me know, do contact me. We have a lot of space here. We have three big circles. Each circle is 12 feet across. There are three circles, earth, air, and fire. Earth, air, and fire circle, and each circle has 12 beds in it. So I'll just flip again so you can see. So I'm standing in earth circle and there's air circle over there and fire circle in the, di in the distance. So we have a huge capacity. These are forget-me-nots that are coming up. Lots of forget-me-nots. So forget-me-not, forget not the gardens that in times of great e economic uh, distress we have this incredible resource here for people to come and garden together and create benefit for each other and it's like that the old world is crashing but the new world is growing the new the new way of be it building community and working together is growing so hope to see you soon and lots of love to you so bye for now bye bye